Hi, my name is Jamar Johnson, and this presentation is on how to link a defect to a test script within ALM. Developers, how many times have you been asked to troubleshoot an issue, but you weren't sure how to reproduce it? Or testers, how many times have you been asked to test a defect fix, but you weren't sure what steps you should take? Or functional owners, how many times have you been asked what the impact a particular defect has on your system health? Well, at the end of this application, you will learn how to link a defect to a test script within ALM so that the questions that we just raised no longer need to be asked. We'll start by talking about the software development lifecycle. We'll then review where defect detection fits into that lifecycle. We'll then talk about the application lifecycle management. And then we'll end with the process of linking a defect to a test script and the three subphases, which are creating the defect, creating the test script, and then creating the link between the two. The software development lifecycle, as defined by Lewis and others, begins at inception, or the idea or the need. Then the requirements analysis phase begins. The third phase is design, where the design aesthetically and functionally is developed. And then implementation and develop, where the application is built. The testing phase, where the testing is done to ensure that the application is functioning as designed. And lastly, the deployment and the maintenance of the application. When we're talking about defect detection, we're focused on the testing phase of the software development lifecycle. Defects are detected after the application or upgrades have been deployed. An unexpected behavior occurs and the defect is created and reported. That defect is assigned to a developer who then fixes it and reassigns the defect fix to a tester. That tester tests the defect fix and if the fix is successful, it's deployed into production. This is where application lifecycle management or ALM comes into play. According to a, bunch, a group of developers at Tung Hai University, application lifecycle management deals with the way a software system or application is conceived, planned, developed, maintained, and then decommissioned. To access the application lifecycle management system, we open up Internet Explorer and we use our network credentials to log in. We then click on the Authenticate button, and by default, our domain and project will appear in the drop downs below, so we'll click Login. Once we've logged in, on the left hand side we'll click on our defects module, and then we'll click on the new defect button. That will display the new defect window, where we'll begin by entering a summary. A summary is the overall description of what happened and what's not working. In this case, let's assume that our buy tickets link is no longer rendering the page. We'll then fill in the sensor screen with all mandatory fields and click submit. Once we click submit, our new defect is created and we're assigned our defect ID. We'll need to hold on to that defect ID for a later phase. Next what we'll do is we'll create the test script. The test script is created in the testing module under the test plan link. Once we've clicked the test plan link, the test plan library will display in the center of the screen. We'll navigate to the necessary folder containing our functional area, and then we'll click on the new test button. Once we click the new test button, the new test window displays. Remember, a test script or a test case is the process that you're trying to test. So in this case, we're trying to test the buy tickets link. So we'll give our name buy tickets. Again, we'll fill in the center area for all mandatory information, and we'll click the OK button. Once we click OK, the Design Step Details window will display. This is where I can be more explicit in the actual steps that I'm taking in order to uh, reproduce the defect. So I'll start by filling in the description and the expected value. In this case, my expected value is that the Buy Ticket page displays correctly. I'll then click on the OK link and my test has been created. Lastly, we're going to now link the defect that we created at the beginning to the test script that we just created. We'll start by clicking on the test lab link on the left hand side of the screen, which will display all of our folders by date for our testing module. We'll navigate to the closest date test set in the center of the screen, and we'll click the select test button. The select test button will display the window on the right hand side, 
we will now see the test that we just created. Once we double click that test, we'll open up the test instance details window. This will allow us to link the defect. So we'll start by clicking on the left hand side at the linked defects link, and then we'll click on the link existing defect button. Once the pop-up window displays, we'll enter in the defect ID of the defect ID that we just created, and we'll click on link. Now, our test script and our defect are linked together. This allows developers some traceability by being able to uncover the steps that they need to in order to reproduce the issue. It helps testers ensure that they are testing all aspects of the functionality thoroughly, and then it also enables functional owners to see what processes and flows have been impacted by this defect. And that is linking a defect to a test script.